guys, welcome to ABBA Community. And for, the, for today, I'm going to share with you one of the tools that we use in checking our content. Should you try to um, choose the, the, the track for the creatives, um, virtual assistant. So, one of the most in-demand na uh, skills and um, service ng isang VA is yung ability to, con to create website content. So, it may be yung website content per se, like yung about page, service page, product page, or yung blogs. So, I have clients before that have asked me to create blogs, newsletters. So, part din doon yung mag email kayo to their clients or to their prospects. Uh, you grow their email lists. So, of course, before you send out or publish those content, make sure na hindi siya plagiarized or mababa yung um, risk niya for being tagged as a plagiarized content. So, isa sa mga free tool na ginagamit ko is Edubirdy. So, this was um, recommended by one of my US clients before where I created mga newsletters nga and blogs, blog posts for them as well as yung mga learning materials nila since they are um, into HIPAA training. So, in the U.S. kasi, it's very important for healthcare organizations to undergo HIPAA training. More for privacy and data security kasi yon. So, in our blogs, our email marketing campaign, campaigns, we make sure that it, it is those articles are being run here in Edubirdy. Uh, there are a lot of free tools that you can use via the website or Google na pwede nyong i-run yung ginawa ninyong content and check if um, alin ba dun yung kung heavy ba yun sa plagiarism. So, in this Edubirdy, all you needed to do is to um, type in the title of your blog post or your email and then type in the content or copy-paste actually. And then it will show you ano yung percentage ng uniqueness niya. Then of course, Ang target would be, of course, 100% unique sana. But then, some of the words that you might be using are common or commonly used by the other websites, especially if uh, it's a known topic or uh, in-demand topic. So, I was writing about um, time tracker choices for AVA, ng AVA, and I put it here, yung content, just to check how high is the plagiarism. Though, Whenever I write, I first research on the article, on the topics, and then I write the things that I know um, about that particular topic through my own words. And nagiging guide ko na lang yung mga na-research kong um, notes uh, as content or yung parang bullet points ko doon sa aking ginagawang article. So even if it's an 80.4 uniqueness, uniqueness text lang, I, what I do is I still go ahead down here, yung mga sources na sinasabi nilang pwedeng napaggayahan ng article. So, when you click on the show button, it shows you yung mga words na sa tingin nila ginaya mo or kinapi mo for that particular blog post ng isang site na yan. So, if you can see here, hindi naman siya verbatim, hindi din siya the whole sentence. And Basically, what you see here are yung mga uh, usual na words, di ba? Like time tracker, that's a usual word. It's a general word that might be used by the other websites. Bill, invoice, your time, mobile app. So, those are common words. So, I couldn't consider it as a plagiarized content. So, iisa-isahin nyo yan until such time, makakita talaga kayo ng sentence na almost all of the words there have been copied. So, in my work, wala naman. You, you can see here na wala naman akong kinapi. Kasi nga, what I do, I read about the topics, I jot down notes, and then through my own words, saka ko siya nire-release sa content ko. So, there. So, even if it's an 80.4 uniqueness text, text, for me, pass na yan. Kasi nga, if I review those mga words na sinasabi nilang nagaya sa mga website na to, those are common words naman. General words na pwede din talagang gamitin ng mga websites na yan. So, there you go. I do 
um, encourage you to um, avail of the EVA Essentials 101 because it's going to be jam packed, full pack with all the knowledge that you need to start off as a virtual assistant. Um, uh, by next year, or on a, hopefully on a daily basis, but since I am also juggling different clients, probably on a weekly basis, I'm going to have Facebook Lives. And you lead me to the content that you want to for me to discuss on that uh, Facebook Live. And by January, I am onboarding an SEO specialist, a social media specialist, whom we could um, talk to during our Facebook Lives and give us um, some tips on how to do or how to become an SEO VA and a social media VA. So those um, those are included in our mentorship program, which is another uh, program that we we are encouraging everyone to avail after you have seen and um, graduated with the EVA Essentials 101. Because with the um, mentorship program that's actually going to be a, a one month full of um, templates, full of guidance, mentorship and even we're gonna help you talaga on how to get clients what to do when the clients say this via the email or what to, to say to them how to um, resolve the task for example na major challenging na binigay sa inyo so it's going to be a really um detailed kind of skill specific kind of program that we will be offering by next year and part of our plans is also to um yeah, yeah have that facebook live and as well as a podcast wherein sa gabi naman yon, I, I plan to do that during the evening so those who who would want to just um listen and slip in um on the topics that they wanted to hear about virtual assistance uh, we will tackle on those podcasts so part of our um offering as well is uh, a weekly journal or a blog update so i've just created one for 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 this week and next week there's another one um it will guide you on those talagang tested um, tools, softwares, processes that we have um, encountered as experienced VAs na in this field. So I do hope you read on those emails, make use of those um, informations na makikita nyo doon, click on the links, um, study the the website of our, of the 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 tools that or the software that we have discussed on that particular email and then um there's more there's more coming up this coming 2020 and i hope that every member in our eva community will get the chance to be a graduate of that eva essentials 101 kasi i promised you hindi kayo magsisisi sa pag enroll in that particular class kasi it's going to be jam-packed and full of information na hindi nyo pa talaga nakikita with other uh, virtual assistant na trainings online. And plus, as you can see, the price is very reasonable. However, come January 1st, we might increase it na kasi we've been um, having a lot of inputs from different mentors and talagang uh, nire-refine ng husto pa each of those courses that we will be offering in the mentorship program. So before pa mag-increase sana yung price, you avail of the the avail of the reduced or discounted price as early as December and then come January 27 we'll start on the training. Um you can do it on your free time during weekends, during night. So whenever you have free time you can do that because it's self-paced training siya. and uh, you'll be given a week to to study that EVA training program. But we're trying to um, see na if we could push it a little bit further, like two weeks time, because sometimes most of us are very busy, so baka yung one week hindi enough. But the, the, the program per se, it's a five-day kind of training where in step-by-step, ibibigay sa inyo how you could start being a virtual assistant, saan kayo kukuha ng clients, how to approach them, what tools to use. Um, and even in your CV, we're gonna make sure that uh, you're gonna format it in a way that is appealing to the 
prospects that you are eyeing for. So, hopefully, this December, mag-avail lang kayo ng EVE Essentials 101 um, before it gets a uh, high price next year. Kasi we're targeting na by w- mga 100 applicants, dapat ano na, mag-close na yon. Kasi it's going to be uh, a bit less manageable pag beyond the 100 applicants na or registrants yung sasali dun sa AV Essentials 101. Uh, we're on the track. Uh, actually, uh, half of it has been uh, registered already but not some of some of them are not in this community some of them nandun na sila sa AVA mentorship program kasi they have a build of the AVA mentorship program as well so dinerecho ko na silang ni register dun sa AVA mentorship program na Facebook group so that's not uh, viewable online i mean uh, publicly it's a very it's a secret group Kasi we wanted to make sure na those who are really serious in becoming a well-rounded virtual assistant, yung sasali lang dun sa mentorship group. And those who will, of course, avail of the mentorship program na ino-offer ng AVA Academy. So, there. And hopefully, by next year, we will also be, like I said, uh, start na yan nung, nung pag offer din ng job opportunities. I have this Australian um, outsourcing firm where I am working on providing them apprentice VAs. So as an apprentice VA, you're gonna of course start with a, a small rate, but then your actual work nandoon, makikita nyo talaga na uh, with AVA Academy and with that outsourcing firm, kasama yun sa parang hands-on training niyo. So I hope guys, you may, uh, take uh, no, take a veil of that uh, Essentials 101 kasi you'll be given priority if job opportunities from that outsourcing firms comes up. Uh, we wanted to make sure na yung ipalatag namin sa kanila na, na VA would be equipped with all the skills that they wanted to have for a VA. So there. Okay, uh, enjoy the rest of the holidays and I'll speak to you. Hopefully, still I have time next week. Okay, um, I'll still keep on providing more content um, and providing tips um, as a virtual assistant to you guys in our ABA community. Bye, guys. And also, please share our page and our community to your relatives and friends who also wanted to have a home-based career as a virtual assistant. Thank you. Bye for now, everyone.